Hello, you're watching the right video if you've been instructed to use Ovidrill for your upcoming IUI or for your upcoming egg retrieval to trigger ovulation. So Ovidrill is very, very easy to use because it's already pre-filled and pre-diluted um, and you literally have to just take it out of the box, okay? So I already took it out of the box. Make sure your box is sealed. And so it comes like this in a pre-filled syringe um, obviously yours will be sealed and just pop it open. It's got a tiny little needle, clean your skin as you normally would and go ahead and inject the whole thing and you can just throw this away and you're done, okay? And you'll be ready for your retrieval. As I said, if you have, um, are you doing this for IVF, then your timing will have to be very, very specific to when your retrieval is planned. And if you have any questions or need clarification, please don't hesitate to contact us. Even if it's after hours, you can page through to a provider. Typically for IUIs, um, because the timing of the IUI is going to be a little variable. We usually will routinely ask patients to do this between 8 to 10 p.m., but there's flexibility in that because we're just trying to trigger ovulation to get it around the time of your IUI, and this, the egg will certainly be released and be viable for a longer period of time. So it doesn't have to be as precise as for IVF because we're trying to retrieve the egg before the follicle bursts. So it's definitely very different um, depending on how how or why you're using the Ovidrill, um, but those are just some of the common timing um, that we would be recommending, okay? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and we're always here for you.